Hello, this is Brian Garcia. Welcome to the Cape Report for Thursday, March 25th. Here is today's hot lunch choice. Teriyaki rice bowl, sugar snap peas, and pineapple tidbits. One of our theater students, Ashlyn Moore, recently competed in a state competition. Let's hear about it from Ashlyn. So the competition was called ESU. It stands for English Speaking Union. It's where you, what you do for it is you compile a Shakespeare monologue and the sonnet. You have to memorize both. And then you perform both for a panel of judges. And so that's what I did. I performed a monologue from The Tempest and then one of his sonnets. So I actually started competing in this competition back in my sophomore year. And I never, I came in, I was a runner up the first year in the school level. I was not in the second, my second year, so as a junior. And then this year as a senior, um, I won for school or tied and then went on to states to take first place. Um, if you want to see more um, Cape Shakespearean talent, you can come see our play, A Midsummer Night's Dream, this May. Congratulations to our JROTC teams advancing in the J Labs Championship in Washington, D.C. in early summer. Our Cape JROTC teams are the only teams from Delaware uh, participating with two teams advancing in both the academic and leadership bowls. Did you know that? In a room with 23 other people, there is a 50% chance that two, two of the people in the same room will share a birthday. Check it out. Now to our Hitting History segment. Hi, it's Amaya Daisy. And it's Aya Daisy. And we're back on Multicultural Minute. And today on our Hidden History segment, we will be talking about February 3rd of 1964, when kids skip school. On Monday, February 3rd, 1964, 464,000 New York City school children, almost half of the city's student body, boycotted school as part of a protest against segregation. This was one of the largest civil rights movement demonstrations. The protesters, made up of teachers, parents, students, and activists, marched at 300 of the city's 860 schools. The reason for the boycott was to showcase how much black parents are willing to sacrifice for their children. The message protesters wanted to spread was that no person in authority should ever fail to consider the determination behind the fight for equality of educational opportunity. Thank you for watching the Cape Report. Let us know what is happening in your school life, and it might just be a part of the show. Contact us at our Gmail account. Have a great day.